Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we will explore the best sellers section for your Shopify store. So first of all, we need to go to our theme customizer and choose the page where we'd like the section to be located. So keep in mind that you can actually add the best seller section to any page. So here I'm on the products, a default product. And when we go here to add a section, we can add the best sellers here. But for our example, let's stay on the home page and add this section to this page here. So let's scroll down here to the add section, click on it, and here we choose the best sellers. So now we need to click on the section itself. And here we can change the label, the heading, so the section title. So for the label, let's just type in the best sellers. And for the heading, explore our best collections. For example, you can, of course, add any text that you feel better for you, suits better for your store. So next we see the product, show product type. So here when we add the product in here, we'll see the product title, so the name of your product and the product type, like the bag, hat, dress, etc. Here you can either enable or disable it. So if you don't want to show the product type, you can simply untick it here. Okay, next we have the layout. So as you can see, we have some space here between these sections, but we don't have any space between the bestseller section and between our footer. So here in the desktop offset button, we can just adjust it here and add some space between these two sections. And you can do the same steps for the top offset and for mobile as well. So here, all of these settings. Next, we have the theme settings in regards to our products cart. So we go to the theme settings and here we can enable quick view. We have a separate video on how to set up the quick view. We'll link it in the description for you to check it. So once we add the product here, we'll see this zoom button to open the quick view. And from here, we can enable it for our products or disable it for all of our products altogether. We can also enable to show the currency code. So as you can see here, we have the price, but if uh, you have uh, clients from different countries and you want them to know that you're selling in, for example, US dollars, you can easily click show currency code and here we'll see the price and the currency code, in this case, USD in here. So here is how we can show it or decide to hide this section. So now let's remove it from here and save our changes. Okay, so next we have the enable labels section. So labels are the badges like sold out, new in, in sale, for example. And from here, we can either enable labels for our products or disable them. So if you don't want to show any labels in your products, then just disable this section from here. Or if you want to share the labels, you can click back in here. And don't forget to, of course, save your changes. So the last section in here, we have the enable. Uh, this section is responsible for enable, uh, enabling or disabling compare products section. So um, we have just one word here. This may confuse you. Uh, this is why we always advise to use the theme settings instead of theme settings within the section. So if we move to the theme settings and we go to compare products, we have this enable button in here. So you can choose either way or go to the theme settings, compare products and click on enable here, or we can go to the sections, go to the theme settings of our chosen section and enable it from here. So if you want to give an option for your clients to click on compare and comparing products. So let me show you like in here, we'll have the button that offers to click and choose several products and compare them. We can enable it from here, or you can of course disable it. So once we add the products, we'll see how it all looks like. So next we go from best sellers to the actual products within our section. So let's click on product number one. First of all, we choose the collection. 
this collection will be entered in here. So as maybe you've noticed, we can add maximum three products in here. So of course you can add one product for a bestseller or maybe two products, but no more than three products. So now let's add our first one. So we click on product here. We also need to select the collection. So let's go with the dresses. Then we need to choose the actual product to go in here. Let's just type in dress. Let's just choose maybe any dress that we'd prefer. And the next section is optional. So as you can see, these two, the collection and the product, they cannot be empty. So these are mandatory sections, but this one is optional. So for example, you have this product you've added, but you do not like the image that goes on here and you want to change it to maybe like your custom image. Here in the image section, you can click on select image, look through all of your images or search them. They're here and maybe just change the image for this product here. If you don't like the layout of the image, you can also click on edit and change maybe the focal point of this picture. So let me just save my changes. Mm -hmm. And the focal point was barely changed because the, the image is very cropped. So let's move it here. And this is the way how you can adjust all of your images that you want to add to your store. So this uh, section is optional. You can, of course, um, remove, remove it from, um, from this product and leave the main picture of your product as is. Or you can just simply uh, choose another image to see which one uh, goes better. So let's just remove it here and maybe let's add a new one. Let me just look through my library. And so for example, let's add this image here. And here it is. Here is our product and our custom image for this product. Okay, so product number one is added. Let's now move on to the second product here. So we have the second product. Let's change, let's add the collection. For example, let it be blazers. Now we'll need to add the product for our blazer. Let's choose this one here. We select the image, the product, and now we can choose to either add the image or leave it as it is using this image here. And now let's also add the third product. So I'm going to the accessories collection and I'm choosing this product here. So this is my third product. And as you can see, we have the badges for this product displayed. So now all of the products are added. Let's now save our changes and let's view our new section on our Shopify store. So let's just scroll down to the bottom here. And as you can see, we have three collections and three products. So keep in mind that these sections, they are clickable. So we added the specific collections to these sections. So if I click on dresses, it will take me to the dresses collection. The same goes with the blazers. I'm in the blazers collection and the same for the accessories. Once I click these button here, I go to the accessories collection. So now what do we see within the actual product that we've added? So here is our product. We see the zoom icon for quick view. So this is our quick view section. We can see, choose the option, see the product here, the price, we can add it to cart, or we can click on visit product page. We can also click on compare products. We have a separate videos on how to set up the compare products feature. So we'll link it down below and feel free to check it. So we can click here to add the product to the uh, compare product section. So let me just remove one from here. So here I've clicked on this product and now I can find it here in my compare products section. And next we, he we see the product type dresses and we see the name of the actual product. 
Same goes with the blazers. We see the product type, the name, the price, the compare products, and the quick view. And in the accessories, in the hat product, we see the product type hat, we see the, the title, the price, the compare products, uh, the uh, quick view, and we can also see these badges that were added to this product. If you're interested in how to add badges to your products, we'll also link a video on this topic in the description down below. And this is it. These are all of the instructions for the best sellers collections. Feel free to check our theme manual. We also store a lot of useful information in here. And don't forget about our support team. You can always contact us. We're always here to help. And thank you very much for your time. Have a great day. Goodbye.